Hello everyone, welcome to our Timeless Oracle reading. Our Oracle card for today belongs to the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle by Angela Hartfield. The card for today is entitled, Convey Your Meaning. With regards to communication, there are two important things that we need to consider always. Number one is listening. And number two is to clearly express our feelings or our sides or our points of view. So there's an aspect of listening and there's an aspect also of expressing ourselves. In order for us to convey ourselves more clearly, it is important for us to have a strong capacity to listen. To listen not only to the opinions of others, but to also to listen to our inner self, to listen to how we feel while the communication is undergoing, to listen to the things that we value deeply in our life, and to listen also to what the inner world is telling us or inspiring us to do. So there is that also part of us that is not listening only to our higher self, but also listening to the divine and our spirit guides. So, uh, how do we go about communicating? Well, there are many ways we can go about communicating, communicating with others, but one way of doing it is like, for example, learning to list, learning to deal with people uh, with uh, integrity and with empathy. So. You always try to be receptive to the opinions of other people and you try to deal with them fairly. Uh, you make sure that you are not forwarding your, your agenda to the expense of other people. So it's when you reach out in dialogue to people, you always consider the bigger picture, the benefit of the whole collective, not only of yourself, but you consider also the benefit of everyone concerned and the whole collective, of nature, of everything around you. When you always align it to that kind of point of view, wherein you always consider the good of everyone, including yourself, then you will be able to avoid the pitfalls of having repercussions in whatever you try to gain. Because when you always think of the best of the collective, you avoid the negative repercussions of karma because always you always move or promote what is best for everyone. Now, sometimes in the part of dialogue, you it's true that you need to be empathic, you need to deal with them with integrity, but at the same time, you also need to be firm. You should not be willing to compromise what are the highest goods that you believe in. Uh, you should not compromise your principles, what you consider as very important in your life. You need to be able to express to them that these are things that I value and I cannot compromise these things. So you need to be clear with that. At the same time also, you need to be able to express how you feel about the situation, whether you feel uh, comfortable with the proposal they are making or you feel there is some hesitation on your part. At the same time, you can always have that, you should always have that courage to, to dialogue with them, to share your side while you respect their side, but at the same time, you do not compromise the things that you value in your life. When you think of the benefit of the whole collective, oftentimes the result will be you and the other parties will come up with a win-win situation. When you deal with other people with integrity, it impels them also to respond with integrity. When you deal with them with compassion, it is the normal response will for them also to deal with you with compassion. If, however, you encounter energies that are really low level, wherein despite you deal with them with integrity and with compassion, but they return with a self-centered energy or self-centered response, 
then there is a need for you also to be firm and to assert what you think is right. So in a certain sense, it's a play, interplay between learning to listen and thinking also of the best of everyone, but at the same time, when there is a need to do so, you are also assertive enough to hold what you think is true and to not compromise. To always never compromise what is good and beneficial for everyone, never to compromise it to something that is not positive, something that is negative, something that is selfish or uh, somewhere that in that energy of less, the, uh, an energy that is opposite to what is good. Now, let us try to read from the handbook that accompanies this card so that we can gain more insights regarding conveying your meaning. Reflect on the way you communicate with others and with yourself. Be sure to express your thoughts and feelings from your heart and with respect and sincerity. Good communication is a necessary aspect of all healthy relationships. Take an opportunity to objectively observe how you communicate. Remember to always incorporate respect and receptivity when speaking to yourself and to others. If you are being too hard on yourself, tone it down. If you need to be more honest, know that everyone involved will benefit from receiving the truth of how you are feeling. Love yourself more and see that you can achieve with a new approach. Remember, your goals and aspirations are unique to you. When you are communicating, others may not share your views. Talk about what is necessary for you and inquire what the person you are conversing with requires or needs. This open sharing can help establish a solid base for an exchange of ideas. The white mouth moray eel is a fish that has a long slick body that resembles a snake. The white mouth moray eel is quite shy despite its strong appearance, preferring to spend most of its time concealed inside crevices and alcoves. Their strong jaws seem to open and close as if they are trying to talk to you. Allow yourself the opportunity to clarify what you are trying to get across to someone else. Realize that you may not be clearly explaining what you mean. Okay, so this is what we have for our Timeless Oracle reading. So, uh, I hope you were able to gain insights regarding being able to express yourself while respecting also the opinions of others. Thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. I hope to see you again in our succeeding videos. Until that time, may God continue to bless your ways.